What's good with y'all, man? It's the Chief Bandit, Kohar Cam. We back with another one, you know what I'm saying? Um, comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Like and subscribe if you brand new. We on theme and time and as usual. So listen, bro. Um, my bad for not being here the last few days, man. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should be. But understand that I had everything stolen from me. My uh, car keys, my AirPods, my phone, my wallet. Um, you know what I mean? My backpack. It was all in my backpack. It all got finessed from me. You feel me? Um, and so, you know, it was, I, I couldn't film. And on top of that, I had finals. And on top of that, I had to get my stuff ready to move out um, of the dorm. It was crazy, man. It was it was a wild, hectic week. I didn't really have a way to to do anything. Um, I didn't have no way to pay for nothing. We didn't have no way to record, no film, nothing like that. Um, but I'm back at it again, bro. And I promised y'all daily uploads. And I promise I'll never let y'all down again, bro. Swear on everything. I'm never going to let y'all down again. Um, daily uploads. Y'all already know how I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm consistent. I'm constantly grinding. We're not going to let that stop me. But it is summer now. And what I always tell y'all, we taking over the summer, bro. Now is the time for us to take over, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and get into today's topic, okay? Fellas, we've all been there before. We go up to a woman in a group, right? Or she's at least with one other person. And we having a cool convo, you know what I'm saying? You about to get the digits, you right there. And then her homegirl, we got to go. We got to leave. No, sorry, she's not interested. Thank you. The cock block. The blocker. The blocker. Now, understand that nine times out of ten, this C blocker, right, is much less attractive than the girl that you're talking to, right? She's not, she's, she's less attractive, okay? And nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? She's spiteful and envious and jealous. That's why women do it. Understand that women crave one thing, okay? Or not one thing, but one of the things that they crave the most is attention. Attention. Understand that attention is like a life source for these females, bro. It's like a life source. The more they get it, the better, they, the happier they are. But if they're not getting attention, they turn into these envious people, these envious creatures. You know what I'm saying? So, not creatures, but y'all see what I'm saying, though? She's envious. She's jealous. She's not getting any attention from the guys. See, when you're out, bro, when women are out, they know exactly who's getting looks. They see you looking. They know that when they when they wear, you know what I'm saying, the, the yoga pants, right, or or the little the, the, the booty shorts or something like that, and they walk past you, you, they know that you're looking. They know. So when one of them is not getting the attention, when one of them is not getting the looks, they know that already. So... When she's not getting the looks, she's like, what's going on? Why am I not getting this attention? And misery loves company, right? Because she's miserable. Because she's not getting enough attention from guys. So she wants her friend to go through that same thing. Why? Because women can't be alone. She doesn't want to be alone in her misery. She doesn't want to be alone. She doesn't want an attractive guy to come and take that away and take uh, uh, her friend away from her. She doesn't want that. So what is she going to do? Naturally, any guy that's attractive, she's going to... Squash those chances. She's going to say, oh, yeah, we got to go. Oh, she's not interested. She's going to speak for her friend. We see this happen so many times. It's happened to you before. It's happened to every guy before, fellas, every single guy. No cap. So understand this, bro. There is a way to deal with these C blockers, bro. There is a way to deal with them. And that is to just ignore them. You have to ignore them. Understand this, bro. By ignore them, I mean, don't listen to, don't, when she, because what's going to happen is you're going to be talking to her, right? She's going to come up, oh yeah, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. Fellas, don't mind all that. The woman that you're talking to, right, you tell her, hey, yeah, let me get my number, blah, 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 let me give you my number, or let me get your number, whatever your game is, and you get out of there, quick. You don't listen to the friend or nothing like that. You don't even give the friend a chance to, to, to be doing all that talking. You get in there and you get out. You get in there and you get out. You shouldn't even be having no long, drawn-out convo. But you get in there and you get out. But you just have to continue to ignore her. Because understand that that woman that's blocking you from trying to get those digits, she secretly, deep down, is attracted to you. She is secretly, deep down, attracted to you. And let me tell you why. Because she wouldn't be jealous and envious of her friend if an ugly dude was hitting on her. She wouldn't be upset that her friend was getting attention from some ugly dude. If you are attractive, right, then she's going to be like, oh, I don't want that. I don't, I, I'm, I'm upset now. I'm jealous now. She wouldn't do that for no ugly dude. So with that being said, bro, understand that she sees you and she's going to tell her friend after, after she takes her away, oh, yeah, he's bad news. He's an F-boy. He's this. But deep down, we all know that's what women really want. 
They want that quote unquote bad guy, or at least not the nice guy. We know that already. So when she sees that and she says, oh yeah, he was this, he was this, he was that. Deep down, bro, what she's trying to do is throw her off because she's attracted to you. Know that. Know that. So understand, bro, that you don't even have to listen to all that. Don't don't let her phase you. Don't let her ever phase your game, bro. You stay focused on the task at hand. You see a woman you want to go spit games to. You see she's showing you chosen signals. You walk up to her. Hey, I seen you. Let me uh, let me give you uh, let me give you my number. You can hit me up later. Hey, I see you. You can follow me on Instagram. You can hit me up. DM me later. Whatever. Snapchat. You can DM me. Hit me up later. Boom. Quick like that. So you ain't even give the cop block a chance. You didn't even give her a chance to say nothing because you already know she was gonna say something. You already know. You already know that she's jealous and envious and that she don't want you to win. She doesn't want you to win. It's kind of like it's kind of like. A fast break, right? You see a woman showing you choosing signals. You run it down. You a, you a fast break, right? You know what I'm saying? Basketball, easy layup. But you see one defender. He trying to come and block your shot. What you going to do? You can't just go up for the layup regularly. You got to hit him with a Euro step, do a spin move, something like that. That's why you do it. But whatever you do, you got to do it quick, though. You have to do it quick. You have to do you have to do it quick. And honestly, that's not even just if there's a blocker there. You should honestly be uh, spitting gang quick with any female at all. But like I said, you have to make sure that you get in and you get out. You don't spend too much time there because you already know what's going to happen. Is she's going to literally pull her friend away from you. Pull her friend away from you. And you can't be following them. You can't be following them. But understand that you just have to continue to have confidence. Don't let her get in your head. Don't let her get in your head. Because another thing that these cop blockers will do is they will try to get to you. They will clown you. They will flame you. They will tell you, oh, nah, you you look crusty, blah, 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 blah. You have to continue to ignore them. Look at them like, like give them, y'all know that look when somebody look at you and, and it's like, shut up. You have to give them one of those looks. You got to give them one. Continue to have your conversation. Don't even say nothing to her. Don't even say nothing to her. Just, Hit her with one of those. Real easy, bro. But whatever you do, don't let her get in your head, bro. Don't even give her the chance to talk, bro. You have to continue to run your game. Now, realize this, too. A lot of the times when you ask these cop blockers why they do it, they say it's to, quote, unquote, protect their friend. We know that's big cap. What do you protect? What exactly is she protecting her friend from? You have to ask. Oh, well, man, do this. Man, do that. Man, do this. Man, do that. Okay, well, when I come up and I'm respectful and you clearly see that I'm just talking in a regular way, what exactly are you protecting her from? See, that's cap. It's an excuse. It's an excuse because women don't want to take accountability. She doesn't want to take accountability for the fact that she's just mad. She's just upset that she's not getting no attention. She's upset that she's not getting the looks. And it's, and it's tough. That's, that's tough, bro, because most of the time she's just aesthetically challenged. And you know what I mean? I'm, I mean, look... It is what it is, but at the same time, don't be upset because think about it. Guys that are aesthetically challenged, we have nothing. We can't even hide it with makeup. We can't even hide it with makeup. We really can't. We just have to, what, up our body and, you know what I mean, just we have other things. We have other things that we can do. But women, they got makeup, all kind of stuff to literally contour their look. Men, we can't do that. We got to live with what we was born with. So when we live with what we was born with and we still make do, then you have to look at women and say, well, dang, why are you so envious and spiteful and jealous? Because think about it. A guy is not doing that. If your homie is getting hit on for, by a female, right? Or if a female approaches your homie, you're not going to be like, nah, not interested. Even if you is the ugly friend, bro, it don't matter. Your homie getting hit on, hit on bro. If anything, you walk away and let them talk and do their thing, bro. But women don't think that way. The women don't think that way. They're thinking about themselves. They're thinking about what can I gain about this. And that speaks a lot on... Uh, uh, women's friendships, bro. Because let's be real, I've been seeing a lot of memes like this lately, and it's one hundred percent facts, bro. Women will become friends over the over, over stuff. Very like it'll be very superficial. They will have very superficial friendships. I'm not saying all women, of course, but you see it a lot of the times, bro. These women got very superficial friendships. You know what I'm saying? They compliment each other one time, and now they best buddies. Now they best buddies. But see, we know that it's not real because of situations like these. A situation like this, bro, shows exactly how spiteful and envious and jealous some of these women could be. See, because finding a high-value woman, right, that's just one part of it. You should be trying to find high-value people in general. In general. Friends, what, just whoever. Whoever. Right? That goes for men and women. Women, y'all should be looking for high, not only high-value men, but high-value uh, high friends, too. 
Who do you surround yourself with? If you surround yourself, if you a woman, right, and you surround yourself with a woman that's constantly cock blocking you from those, bro, you have to ask yourself, is this somebody that's really good for me or is this somebody that's just looking out for themselves? But see, a lot of women is not doing that. They not, they not looking past the superficial stuff. And, that's, and that speaks to a lot of things. And we see that because, well, women don't like nice guys, bro. And we see why. Why? Because a nice guy, oh, he doing too much. He's too emotional. He's too attached. They don't look deeper than what they want. But anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Um, you know what I'm saying? Daily uploads, of course. Chief Bandit, I'm signing out, man. Peace.